Okay, so uh, Kyle Hissop here. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to access ML Exchange on your iPad. So, there's a couple different ways of doing it. What I use and what I like to use, and there's a reason why I like what I like, is called Log Me Ignition. So, there's a little icon right there Log Me Ignition. Why I use Log Me Ignition is basically what I'm doing is I'm remotely connecting to my uh, PCs. So I have, as you can see there, I've got two different PCs that I can choose from. This is the same as if you have issues on your computer and a technician guy wants to access your computer from his office and all of a sudden you see your mouse moving around on your computer and it's like kind of creepy and weird. This is the same idea. Basically, if you went back to my office right now, uh, when I log in here, you would actually see my mouse on my, my monitor moving around and stuff like that. The reason I like Log Me Ignition the best is it's really quick. Right now, as you can tell, I am hanging out in the middle of nowhere I just picked the side of the street that was quiet so I'm literally in the middle of nowhere I'm uh, connected to my um, tethered to my iPhone so I have an internet connection and uh, and logman is fairly quick and uh, works really fast the other, other reason I like it is because I'm accessing my office computer so if I need to print off documents or put information to a Dropbox account or whatever I can simply do that I can access it and uh, and move things around um, on my home computer. I can print up a contract, and then when I get back to the office, it's up and ready to go. So that's that's uh, kind of the main reason why I use it. But uh, you know, other people have different preferences of what they want to use it for. So anyway, so now this is my office computer. I'm going to say remind me later. And so as you can see, we're already on ML Exchange. So I am going to type in my password, but I'm not going to let you see what it is. So we'll have to just press pause for a second here. Okay, so now we're inside ML Exchange, and uh, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time in here. We all know how to use it. But basically, if I wanted to look up a property on, we'll, we'll say, we'll pick a busy road. So I'm going to look up a property on Vetter. We all click to the side like we normally do. And right down at the bottom, it's doing that little thing. And so we see 16 properties. Click on details. And there we go. So as you can see, it's just like using your ML Exchange, but uh, on your iPad. This also works on your iPhone, it works on your Macs. Any of your Macs that you have, your iMacs, your MacBook Airs, any Apple product this, this uh, program works on. I think it's about 19 bucks at the App Store. You pay for the, the app itself, and then you can put it on any computer you want for free. And the, uh, the rest of the process is 100% free. And like I said, my, my favorite feature is that you know if I wanted to print off a contract or if I wanted to put some inf information into a Dropbox or whatever it is and share it, uh, I have access to the main computer. So I basically keep one computer in my home office with all my information on there and I'm like I said I'm accessible to it at all times. So so that's how you can use ML Exchange with your iPad. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, my name is Kyle Hislop. Cell number 604-795-1616 or drop me an email at kylehislop at gmail.com. Thanks.